Alright guys, welcome back to Judgment. Alright, we got a clue that that uh, parkour dude knows Yagami from somewhere. I assume it isn't a character that's been introduced yet. What is going to be revealed is someone from Yagami's past. Unless if it's maybe supposed to be the guy from the first... I don't know. Uh, yo. yo, talk. <laughs> Long time no see, Yagami. Is that Gashi? Steve Bloom? Is that you? Hmm. <laughs> Gashi. Higashi from the Matsugane family. He and Kaito-san were close before Kaito-san got booted. Said he's here on Captain's orders. They've been looking for you. I know. Sounds like he really doesn't want our killer caught. You're not giving up, are you? With how much it's pissing Hammer off? I wouldn't dream of it. Keep your nose out of this, asshole. It's your fault I'm here cleaning this shit up. What? Something wrong? I thought you were all about being Hamura's lapdog. I'm willing to do a few tricks for the treats he hands out. Hell, he's a better leader than you were. Kaito Anaki. You've got no business calling me that now. I suppose not. Then take your thugs and go, Higashi. Fine. We can call it here for today. Looks like if I want to fight you, I'll have to be ready to kill you. Looking forward to it. Anaki means older We're brother. Here. I Come might on. have looked it up before, but I'm not sure. Been a bit since that part where I did, probably. Remember what I told you. Yagami here is a ticking time bomb. Get rid of him if you want to survive. <laughs> Damn, Higashi. You're finally looking like a real Yakuza these days. Whatever, asshole. Ta, think you could tail Higashi real quick? Huh? If I'm being honest, I've been worried about him ever since I left the clan. Yeah. He's changed a lot. I couldn't tell you what he's been through. But it's pretty clear he's had it rough. It's like you said, he's changed a lot. All right, I'm on it. Here, let me pay you. It's the least I can do. <laughs> you really think I want your money? Besides, how else am I going to get more dirt on Hamra? this cat. Hold on. Let me see if I can... I can't go back in right now. Damn. Hello? Hello? It's Kaito. I have a read on Higashi. 
Just turn right down Nakamichi Street. Alone. In fact, right he's not Nakamichi. looking at the phone. Got it. Thanks again. Like, I know you weren't supposed to turn the camera that way, but the fact that his eyes weren't at the phone. What is it? Got it. I'll be right there. Lost, pal. He's out of a league, man. Let's move. Thank you so much. Anytime. He watches out for his boys. It's not all bad. Okay, that guy just disappeared out of nowhere.
This is Kaito. Higashi went into an arcade on Park Boulevard. Ring any bells? An arcade? Yeah. Looks like it's called Charles. Oh, that. I used to manage the place. Guess the family has him running it now. A Yakuza arcade? Don't they have a casino in the back or something? Nah, we just used it for deals every so often. It's pretty much a regular shop. You know, for kids. Okay. I'll see what I can find. Hey, just a sec. What? It's, uh, pretty tight in there. You're gonna need to be covert if you don't want him spotting you. Right. I'll change real quick. Got it. Okay, it just automatically has me going back to, uh... Detective Agency first. Okay. Or does it? <laughs> There's a fucking beanie and sunglasses, what the hell? That's just stupid enough for me to love. An arcade, okay. Pipe down, Brad. Can't you see I'm busy here? Yeah, but... I said beat it, kid. <laughs> Sorry about that, kid. Here, go have some fun. Oh, really? Thanks, mister. Okay. <laughs> we got a morally gray one here. You're doing, huh? Off limits. Uh, hold on. Super gunman. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> that was... I had to mute my commentary audio. 
for a second because I was I was fucking what the fuck, dude. Oh Jesus! Dude. I said stay out, asshole. <laughs> really? Damn. Higashi san, this guy's crazy. Yagami? You followed me, asshole? Wait, what the hell are you wearing? Let's not worry about that now. So, what do you want? Kaito-san worried about you, you know? Oh, yeah? As far as he can tell, you're nothing like you were in the old days. Why the fuck would I be? And who the fuck cares? <clears throat> this is how the Yakuza roll. Right. Except it's all a big act, isn't it? <laughs> huh? I saw you give that kid some cash, you big softy. Deep down, you're the same old Higashi. The one who used to look up to Kaito-san. You sure about that, asshole? Look, I don't want to fight you. I can turn and walk away if you want. <laughs> Coward. <laughs> Same old story. How long has it been since we've seen each other? A year now? It was the day Kaito-san got expelled. You were... pretty upset by it. Flashback? Flashback. A thief going after Yakuza Cash. Couldn't imagine anyone's that dumb. But they did it. All under Kaito-san's watch. The family lost 100 mil that day. But there was nothing Kaito-san could do with a gun shoved in his face. Making sure there's some accountability around here, boss. As if that'll suddenly make things right. How exactly does this get our money back? Well, it won't, but it's a start. It's important to set an example. A hundred mil, huh? Sounds like that's one expensive finger. Talk. Why are you here? We were outside having a chat. The hell do you think you're doing? That pinky's big money. Thought I'd get a good long look before it's gone forever. Shut it! <laughs> Pretty pathetic, isn't it? But Hamura, the damage was a hundred million. You really think one pinky can cover that? Huh. There's gonna be a whole lot more coming his way. More than this? Uh... What more can you do? Good question. Kaido-san. You're out for good. There's no way. Kaito Anaki is... Boss, you're okay with this? Begging him won't get you out of this. You see, boss? It's gotta be done. You know it's only fair. You should know. I already informed the main family of this. Did you know? You were awfully efficient about that. Thank you very much. Atsugane <sighs> san, you really gonna go through with this? It's done, Tak. Kaito's out. From this point forward? Are you sure about that? I'm certain. Good news, Kaito-san. You get to keep your pinky. Huh? You don't get to decide that! Yakuza cut off their fingers to show accountability for the things they do. A civilian 
Like Kaito-san has no reason to do that. The fuck do you think you are? With all due respect, your own boss just said Kaito's not Yakuza anymore. Captain. Back off. I'll do what I've gotta. Kaito-san. This is how it's gonna have to be. I'm not afraid. I'm Yakuza, dammit! Wait! Kaito! You're not Matsugani family or Yakuza anymore. You hear? I don't need your pinky, so just go. Fucked up. The boss brought you in to save Kaito Anaki. But it was too late. He was gonna get expelled no matter what. Even so, you gave him the best defense a man could ask for. Yeah, and Hamura's had his eye on me ever since. You know, you're doing pretty well for yourself, Higashi. Looks like you're moving up the ranks. I heard this used to be Kaito-san's arcade. The hell do you know? I guess I touched a nerve. Hamura practically controls the Matsugani family now. With Kaito Anaki gone, Matsugani-san's command has slowly slipped away. This would have never happened if he'd stayed. Couldn't you have done something? You just sat and watched while he took control. Easy for you to say. I couldn't have done shit. Maybe not. Oh god, the fucking shadow texture is just slowly loading on his By shoulder. The way, whatever happened to the family's hundred mil? Huh? Did they ever get the money back? Or find the thief? Fuck off. It's none of your business. True. <laughs> it's a fair question. Kaito sounds probably waiting for me back at the office. Three forty nine. Huh. Hmm? Side quest. What the fuck? That's supposed to, I think that's supposed to be a wig. But it it's like it just literally plopped off someone's head. Doesn't even move in the wind like those leaves behind Yagami. Hmm. Mini marathon, man. What is this? That's mine. Hmm? Huh? Ooh. I heard that crunch. What the fuck? Oh. Wait. Gone with the breeze. Nice pun. Nice pun. Ouch. Ugh. Ugh. Shit. Not now. Excuse me. Hey. You okay, man? Ugh. I think I sprained my ankle. Thought you fucking broke it with the sound I heard. But, more importantly, my hat. Hat? That was most certainly a wig. I'm sorry, but you have to go after it, please. Huh? Say what? It's an emergency! I don't know what I'll I don't know what I'd do without it. I'll pay you. Come on. Help a brother out. <sighs> Ugh, fine. Wait a sec. Huh? 
What the fuck is this shit? I like this jazzy tune, though. This is really, this is actually, a, this is actually pretty nice music. For a chase sequence like this shit? Pretty good jazzy tune, like I said. Considering this is probably supposed to be stupid, it goes with it. devote a bunch of like processing power to just a stupid side mission but I can't put it on when everybody's watching, or when everyone's watching. Which brings me to my next point. Do I look familiar to you? Hmm. Now that you mention it, I do feel like I recognize you. <sighs> I guess I'll find out when you turn on your TV. You mind letting me explain real quick? Hmm? Sure. No one's looking, right? Mm hmm Not that I can tell. Alright. Here it goes. That wind was rather mischievous, eh? I feel downright teased. Perhaps my old friend, the wind, got jealous of how much sunlight I've been taking in lately. What a cad. Why is he suddenly acting like a different person? Why is he suddenly acting like a different person? Oh, what a heel I've been! I should introduce myself. I'm Toya Tuk- I'm Toya Tokun- Ah, fucking hell. I'm Toya Tokunaga, an idol. Huh? You're an idol? Oh, you don't know me? Here I was thinking I was famous. If rumors are to be believed, Toya Tokugana is a f is the fire behind a curtain of subset, right? behind a certain subset of every woman's desire. Every woman's desire. Uh oh, so I see. So, who might you be? You've got a mean spirit. I'm Yagami. I run a private eye business in Kamurocho. Yagami-san. Well, I do apologize for taking you for, for taking you into such a place as this, Yagami san. My face is such a well known commodity. I can't let people see me like this. I guess that's understandable. But I do have a favor to ask. Can you keep the hat a secret? Toya Tokunaga is a singing and dancing idol with silky smooth hair that fits about in the breeze. Or flits about in the breeze. If people were to find out my silky locks were just a hat.
guys. Just accept that. Or did I already? Oh. I must have accepted it already. Okay. Yo. Yo. How'd, How'd it go? Fine. I ended up going in that arcade. Talk to Higashi. He caught you, huh? Nah. I just wanted to have a chat. Anything come of it? First off, Atsugane-san's completely lost control of Hamura. Apparently, Higashi has no choice now but to follow his captain's orders. Fucked up. When we talked, though, it felt like I was talking to the same old Higashi. Didn't look same old to me. One sec. <clears throat> if Higashi's really changed, I bet it's all started. I bet it all started after that break. After the break-in that got Kaito-san kicked out. I wonder what came of all that. Um. You know, a year ago, when you got expelled from the family. Uh huh. It was because someone stole a hundred mil from the safe, right? Yeah. What about it? What ended up happening with that? Did you ever hear anything? Apparently, Higashi got it all back. At least, according to Ayabe. Higashi did? But how? Not a clue. I would have had to fork up another 200 grand for more info. I didn't have the cash, so I dropped it. Haven't brought it up since. Sounds like Ayabe has a lot to tell us. It'll cost you. Bet you can find him a tender around now. Kaito-san, how long has it been since you saw Higashi? Today was the first time since getting the boot. Hamura would have been all over him if we kept in touch. I didn't want to weigh him down, you know? Gotcha. I wonder what Hamura will do next. He'll be back here soon enough. It's just a matter of time. Wouldn't even be surprised if he tried to off us. <laughs> Think we pissed him off that much? Well, he doesn't want us catching the mole, that's for sure. Other than that, I think he just hates our guts. Damn. Even though we're the reason he's a free man? Guess we just can't catch a break. <sighs> no other ones, okay. You heading to tender? Whatever info Ayabe's got is gonna cost you, you know. I hope I have enough then. I'll figure something out if not.
しもしもしもしもしもしSada always has had a way with words. Okay, let me read that list, Stilted. Sada always has had a way with words. Ah, you're oh, blushing. You're blushing. I, mean it, I mean it, though. Then clue me in. <laughs> Would if I could. I never actually asked. The client's a regular of mine, though, so you don't need to worry. Anyway, you'll need to head over to a place called Hills Garden on Park Boulevard. Right now? Right now. And I'll let you know when Ayabisan comes in. Come on, detective. It's not like you to turn down a paying job. Huh. You got me there. This is easy.
Oh, okay. This is where the client told me to meet him. Oh, great. More parkour assholes. Detective Yagami? Are you my client? Ah. Yeah. You can call me Crow. What the fuck is Crow of Judgment doing here? Oh my fucking god. <laughs> okay, then we got Crow, Sen, Steve Delive, and, uh... Origami. Hmm? The mask. Like, that mask. Are you in that group of thieves everyone's been whispering about lately? Why? Would you snitch if I was? Wait, why? You wouldn't snitch if I was, would you? We may be thieves, but we don't steal from the righteous. Just the bad guys. You know, like Robin Hood. And because they're bad, it's not a crime? That's for a judge to decide, not me. <laughs> really? You're more of a goody two-shoes than I thought. That barkeep at Tender told me this was a request from one of his regulars. But he knew I'd turn down a request from a thief, so he lied to me. Damn, that's cold. Here's the thing. I protect my client's privacy, so you can rest easy about that. But if you're trying to get me to help you steal something, I'm not accepting your case. Okay, it suits me fine. Because all I want you to do is find someone. Hmm? Find someone? He goes by Jester. I don't know his real name. So he's... So he's... Ah. Yes. He's one of ours. But I haven't seen... But I haven't been able to reach him for a while. I think it's safe to say he's missing in action. You know what he looks like? As his name suggests, he wears a jester's mask. Oh, really? I know exactly who that is. One of our guys screwed the pooch, and we ended up needing to run from the cops. We only managed to get away because Jester distracted him. Hmm. Sounds like a hell of a friend. That's when we lost touch with him, though. But he's way too good to get captured, and that's what makes this—and that's what makes his silence all the more perplexing. Sounds like you have a lot of faith in him. He's our ace in the hole. He's smart, professional, and really good. So if he's so if he's in trouble, we need to be there for him this time. Up the case. <laughs> then it's a done deal. We'll be expecting results. Wait. How should I get in touch with you if I find anything? Come back here when you find something out. We always have someone watching this spot. We'll know when you come, Yakuni san. I see. So long then.
Must we? Alright. <laughs> Take this, bunch of fucks. And stay down. Really, guys? Didn't he keep... Wouldn't he have kept the mask? Because he dropped it? This is where the thief helped me out. Nothing seems out of the ordinary, though. Wait. Isn't that him? I've gotta get to him before he bails. Hey, you! Huh? Your Hmm? <laughs> are you here on the trail of a certain Wait, are you on the Are you here on the trail of certain thieves? I'm a huge fan. Hmm? Huh? Yeah. I'm a major thief aficionado. When I heard they'd been sp All right. You wouldn't believe what I went through to get this stuff. Guy for wanting to dress like his heroes, can you? God damn it. Oh, so these thieves have a style? Guess these I guess even thieves need to make a fashion statement. It's more of a recent thing. They used to be pretty gen I mean, they used to be pretty generic. But now they wear really high-end brands. When you get as good as them, I guess you can afford it. So I see. The fee they offered was pretty generous, so I could already tell they, were, they weren't broke. Wait, so I could already tell they weren't broke. Shh. 
Sorry, man. Can I ask you to snap a pic with me? I gotta post it to my chatter. Uh, I'm a little busy for that. Sorry. Well, this was a dead end. Maybe I should try Senro... Senrio Avenue. Well, that's one way to get down. I didn't even take any fucking fall damage. What the fuck, dude? That's fucking dumb. Oh, did I take fall damage? get done with this and then call it a party. Hey, stop right there. Hmm? What's going on? Okay. What the fuck? I didn't get to read all that. those two in the same group of thieves? <clears throat> Damn it. Excuse me. Yeah. Some poor woman's handbag. Hmm? Really? Weren't they those thieves everyone's talking about lately? I thought they stole from the, un from the unjust. That's a bald-faced lie. Nothing but propaganda. As you can tell, they're out there. They're out here stealing whatever they can get their grubby mitts on, just or not. guys. was here earlier.
This is where those two purse snatchers were going to meet up. Those clothes. Is that them? Yes. Whew, close one. I told you that was... I told you this was a bad move, man. We're just robbers now. I thought we were only gonna... Yeah, I thought we were only gonna steal from the wicked. Isn't that Crow's whole philosophy? Maybe it was. But that hypocrite doesn't practice what he preaches. So why should we? Hmm? What? That's what I read on the net, too. But it, it's really true? Well, here's what I heard, man. Basically, he got offered a job by some big corporation to steal secrets from their compi from their competition. The money they offered was good. The senior members they knew they knew they couldn't turn it down. So they took it and split the profits, and none of it made it none of it even made it down to the grunts like us. Down to grunts like us. What about, like, what about Jester? He would never do that, would he? No way. Jester's not like that. So what they told us about how he quit over the profit splitting. Think that's true? No way, man. He didn't like how Crow was running the show, so he split. Damn, dude. <laughs> but I still say Jester's an idiot, too. Just because you claim you're righteous, you're a righteous thief, doesn't mean you're not gonna do your time. Not gonna do time if the cops catch you. So what's the point? Maybe as well try to may, may as well try to come out ahead. I guess, but you think the rest of the crew knows this at all? Wait, knows all this? I doubt the newbies do. They all bought into Crow's lies, they, and they probably think Jester's actually missing. So I say we better. So I say we keep better. We, we keep getting better. You know, Crow cuts us in uh, on the next big job. Got a plan as any. We good a plan as any, right? Wait a sec. <sighs> Fuck it. I can't do this anymore. Myself in. Hmm. Well, shit. Sounds like this client's been trying to play me. Jester isn't missing. He just quit because his group was got hijacked by this crow guy. Who's singing this song? It sounds really nice. Although I will fault the, the mocap people for not having the guitar playing actually line up with the song. And that was my song, Amix the Dream. Thank you for listening. That was Amidst the Dream by yours truly. Sana Mihama, thank you all for listening. <laughs> Go Sana-chan! <laughs> Amazing as always, Sana-chan. Yeah, it's like I could feel your thoughts emanating into the deepest parts of my soul. <laughs> Nothing brightens my day like a sweet serenade from Sana-chan. Oda-san, Kitamura-san, 
Sunawatare-san. Thank you all so much. Oh, yeah. I'll be purchasing your CD, too. Me, too. Actually, I'll take two. And I'll take three. Thank you so much! You have no idea how much I appreciate this. Thank you, everyone. He's got a whole CD out, huh? I'm going to start this, and then oh. continue on with the story. Oh, you were listening too? Thanks, newcomer. Hmm. Should I buy your CD for 1,500 yen? Can I get one as well? Happy to hear it. Sure. I'm glad you liked it that much. Why not helping out? Like, why not help out a, star a starving artist? Thank you so much, yagimi san Anytime you want to hear more, I'll be singing out. I'll be singing my heart out. Hope to see you around. Actually, this, this quest is probably going to take a, a bit, so I'm going to pause here, guys, and continue in the next one.